Hi, I'm Bo with Windsor, and I'm here today to introduce you to the Chariot Eye Gloss Burnisher. The Chariot Eye Gloss is a 20-inch burnisher with a passive dust control system. Let's take a look at the components of the Chariot Eye Gloss. On the left side of the control panel, you'll find an hour meter, key ignition, parking brake release button, forward and reverse switch, the speed control switch, which has three settings, with one being the slowest and three being the fastest, a horn, electronic stop switch, battery meter, and circuit breakers for the drive control and the overall electrical. On the right side of the control panel, you'll find a switch that will lower the burnishing deck to the operating position. Once the machine begins to move forward, the burnishing deck will start to spin and will lower the rest of the way to the floor. Once it lowers to the floor, you can control the pressure by either adding pressure with this switch or decreasing pressure with this switch. The meter will tell you how much pressure you are applying. If the needle in the meter is in the white, you have too little pressure. If the needle on the meter is in the green, you have just the right amount of pressure. If the needle on the meter is in the red, you have too much pressure. Based on all floors being uneven, the needle will bounce from white to red to green. So you need to be sure that for the most part, the pressure is adjusted so that the needle is centered in the green. At the front of the eyeglass, you'll find a compartment that houses the bag for the dust control system, as well as the pad centering device which is used to put the pad on the pad driver. To access the dust collection bag, remove the pad centering device, and then pinch at the top of the cover over the dust collection bag. Simply slide the dust collection bag off the mount, fold the flap over to contain all the dust and particulate. Please be aware that the bag should never fill up completely. Particulate coming off the floor is going to be very fine. And once the pores in the bag get clogged, no air is going to flow through the system. So you'll need to change the bag regularly, every two to three weeks. To replace the bag, simply slide the bag over the nozzle. Lock the cover in place and replace the pad centering device. To remove the pad, loosen and then hold the locking mechanism in the center, and then rotate the pad counterclockwise. To replace the pad, insert it into the pad centering device, and then insert the pad centering device inside the deck housing. Remove the pad centering device once the pad is adhered to the pad holder, and replace the locking mechanism. Hold it in place and rotate the pad clockwise. One final maintenance note. The brushes on the side of the pad driver are designed to come out. Remove the brushes, clean them off, and then replace them so that you maintain the correct amount of airflow through the dust control system. Below the control panel, you'll find a handle that will give you access to the batteries for charging and maintenance. Simply turn the handle and the cover opens. The machine can be charged in this position, which will allow a typical lead acid battery to vent, or the cover can be fully removed so that you can pull the batteries out to maintain the cells on a lead acid battery. To access the batteries in your chariot, simply remove the back cover. Then release the lock on the battery tray and slide the batteries out. You now have complete access to all the cells on all the batteries. You'll need to check each and every cell on each and every battery to make sure that each cell has a proper amount of water. What you're looking for is for the water level to be about a quarter inch below the top of the battery. Water levels that are lower than a quarter inch should be refilled with distilled water. If you don't have distilled water, 
Tap water is okay, but distilled water will really make your batteries last longer. To begin using your chariot eyeglass, you'll need to turn the key ignition on, step onto the platform, select the operating speed, select forward or reverse, and depress the button to release the parking brake. Lower the burnishing deck out of the transport position. Give it three quick taps to lower it the rest of the way to the floor and begin burnishing. So there you have it. You now know everything that you need to know to safely and effectively operate and maintain your Chariot iGloss Burnisher.